Hey YouTube, um, so in this video I'm going to show you all some styles that you can do after you braid your locks into plaits. So this is something that I do a lot after I wash my hair and my hair is not retwisted. I go ahead and I braid my hair up and then I just style it throughout the week into different styles. So here's one. It's a way to protect your locks using braids and also it's two in one style because it actually it's like five or six in one style because you just braid it and you just put it into different styles and then once you get tired of the braids take them down you got a really great braid out so try it out let me know what you all think and uh, let me know if you do this sometimes with your locks i do it all the time because i don't retwist my hair very often i've been trying to do it once a month but you know in between that you want to still have a nice put together uh, look you want to still look professional you want to still look neat or you just want to still you know rock your locks also subscribe comment and like remember in all that you do stay forever true peace Let's do another one to the side. Keep twisting it over. This time, instead of going over and tying it, I'm gonna go down some more. Like that. And take some lock, take a lock and incorporate all of them together. Then I want to take this, this end of all of these, and twist it some more. Bring this over, cover up those flyaways. Keep bringing it over. Tuck it in under. Take some more blocks, bring it over and secure it. Really, it's just a matter of playing with your hair and just seeing what happens. So, hmm, what can I do with the rest of this? I am going to twist it over again, like that. Take another lock. Tie it. Now I got this kind of like quiff pull back look, but I got all this hanging out over here. So let's see. Hmm. Maybe we could basket weave it. Yeah, I think so. Can basket weave to cover up. And that's what basket weave does. It helps to cover up. At least for me, it helps to cover up these locks that's kind of just chilling the ends of them coming from the bottom going over bottom going over and just pull your hair too because there might be some locks in there that are just hiding so you just gotta pull them out to get the full length. And really what I'm gonna do at the end, right here is braid it. A big fat old braid. So this is a really like put together, pinned up look. I should have tightened that up more when I was going towards the back. Okay. So that's that. 
I think I'm gonna bring it back again and secure it over here. On top of that. So, that's that. Let me grab some bobby pins. I purposely got some that are a lighter color so you can kind of see where I'm placing them. So I'm putting it over here on top of this. And when you have locks, you have to kind of weave the bobby pins through the hair. So it's set. I say it looks more like a, um, I don't know, it looks real clean, put together, professional type of look. Let's make it unprofessional. Let's make it more fun with some earrings. I just grabbed these random ones. Okay, so I like it. I would have to play around more with it, um, but I really like the texture that it brings when you twist the hair over. And then as you see, I did the braid over here and brought it back, secured it with bobby pants that you can obviously see. Um, so yeah, and don't mind the bobby pants because I know you're gonna be able to see them.